Good afternoon. Who's excited? Me? Why am I excited? Well, when I get a break, it's the last one. <laughs> I get rid of you all. <laughs> it's the last one and I'm going to give you some dates for the next one. I've been through my diary. We need to catch up. So um, get ready for the next one. A couple of weeks. I'll tell you the dates at the end. So at the end, I have a date for you. I have a surprise for you. And I have seven winners for you at the end of the show. So stay tuned, everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony Darrick. This is the Create Together Club inspirational seven day content. So what that basically means is we're creative with one product, then you open envelope number two, and then we're creative with that one with number one, possibly, then number three. So it's all good stuff. Now you can join the club at any point. You can wait till we've shown you every single envelope. That's if there's any left. I think last time I looked, there was 22. And I think we're now down to about, I think Becky said 12. So if you are wanting to get involved, probably you need to do it um, because I'm not reordering it. It's a Create Together Club. Once it's done, we'll move on to Create Together Club 4. Where did that go? So let's do a little bit of a shout out. If you do like my videos, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell. Uh, let's grow my channel um, so I can share the love of craft. So we have Michaela, Marilyn, Jan, Mom King, Jane Davison, Audrey Irvine, Karen, Pat Martram. Have you noticed how sometimes I, I skip the surname if I'm not quite sure how to say it because I don't want to get embarrassed? Yep, yeah, you know me well by now. Uh, Debbie Cantwell, Victoria Cosgrove, um, Philippa Marshall. My eyes are going funny so item number one we've been playing with for six days we've done a ton of cards on the back we're changing it up today by the way i've just had a kit cat um and we'll put, the item we've been playing is the first envelope which you've all got and i'm pleased to see that lots of you have been doing your inspiration with this one lots of different techniques as well that i hadn't have thought of so absolutely wonderful so it's a die set that comes with incorporated stencils then we have envelope two and three which are not to open Okay, I'm going to tell you when to open these at the end of the show. Stay tuned. Um, and then we'll do a week's worth of content on this one and a week's worth of content on this one. And then if you like, if you've loved it, we'll do another one. We'll do a Create Together Club 4, which is quite exciting, isn't it? So it's like 34 99 something like that. Um, and I send you three really cool items that probably you wouldn't normally buy. And then we're creative with them. And you get like... 20 odd hours of content um i mean we don't do full hours but sometimes we do two cards sometimes we do one and sometimes we possibly run over it depends what projects we're making but you get a ton of content and that you can't put a price on that not in my world anyway and i get to be creative as well so um today we're going to work on the hearts it's the last day of this one although everything in the envelopes works incredibly well together and you will see as we go through but you'll have to let me know do you want us to do a create together for have you enjoyed um so far the different things because before we normally do three different stamps whereas this time you've got a die and some stencils so i've mixed it up totally for you this time then in envelope number two you have something different and in envelope number three you have something different i'm not telling you so peggy griffin happy birthday sweetheart Woohoo! celebration cha 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 oh that dance i saw somebody put a comment on saying the best part of the show is when tony sings cha 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 i'm like cheers <laughs> my techniques on here are not great but my cha 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 chas are brilliant yeah right strictly come dancing here i come cup of coffee are we ready let's go so today we're going to do a little project rather than a card and at the end of the show, we always ask, which is your favourite so far? Is, it, is there one technique maybe you hadn't tried before or a colour combination that you hadn't tried? Or is there a card where you thought I would have never thought to do that? Um, then let us know. So let's have a look. Loved it. Mixed it up. You loved mixing it up. Yes, please, to a number four. OK, leave it with me, guys. We'll see what we can do. So today we're going to create a little gift, OK? using our lovely hearts um now i feel like these cute little gifts are going to be wonderful inside cards and you can write a little note saying um this gift is for or and i'm going to make some cute bookmarks something a little bit different yeah 
So it requires a little bit of paper folding, but nothing too complicated. And um, I feel like they're really cute as used with these hearts that are in my show because they're going to be built into one of them. But I feel like, you know, your washi tapes, I've got my washi tape, like your Henriettas, your Ediths, um, any cute characters you may have in your stash. One thing I will just cover, and I cover it every single time, it's boring, I know. But if you are watching the channel and you don't buy my products, it's okay. Please just enjoy the love of craft, share the love of craft, and make sure you show your mate. So let's have a look. I might peek at envelope two as I'm on holiday next week for two weeks. Good excuse. Leslie, uh, no. Wait to the end, please, of my show. I know where you live. I know where you live. You'll have to wait till the end of the show. I have a surprise. Let's have a look. I'd love a Create Together Club for. It's brilliant, isn't it? Right, so a bit of, let's do a little bit of paper folding first. So you can do this with any square piece of paper. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it 12 by 12 because that would be too big as a bookmark. But I've got an 8 by 8 piece here and I've got a 6 by 6 piece here and I'm going to do both. Now, these are from that lovely um, Let's Celebrate collection. You know, the faux glitter, it's not real, and it's double-sided. I feel like it would be better double-sided, but if you only have single-sided, that works too, okay? So, let's go, let's do the 8x8 one first. So, you're going to turn the 8x8 one this shape, okay? So, I'll do it as slow as I possibly can for those of you that are crafting along. So, you need an 8x8 piece of paper and a 6x6. This was 8x8, I just cut it down to 6x6. So all you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom part and you're going to fold it up to the top, okay? Try and do it as neat as you can. Now this is probably a little bit too heavy this weight, but you know, we'll go for it. I'm giving it a real good score here. So that one first. We'll do two sizes um, at different times. We'll do this size first, okay? So then next one, we're going to take this corner and we're going to take it up to this point and line it up best we can. I'll just pull this down for you a little bit. There we go. Make sure it says, it doesn't matter too much if it's not lined up great, but try your best to get it lined up. Now give that a good old burnish with my hand. If you've got a nice tool, you could do that. And then the other side. So this one up to, right to that point, best you can. Give it a little massage, come on you. And you get it to the top and you've got it in place. You've all gone quiet, so I know you're all watching. <laughs> So give it all a good burnish everywhere. Give it a good old, if you've got a nice burnishing tool that don't mark up, one from Cool Cats, that's a good one. Point, press, press, press. So I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to pull these back down and I'm going to take this top part here and I'm going to bring it to this point here. Super easy. And then I'm just going to hold that. Burnish, burnish, burnish. And then this one here, we're going to tuck it in, okay? Push it into that corner inside. You see? And then this one, we're going to tuck it in. And now I have this. So what does that look like? It's a big old bookmark is this one, but it'll still go on a book. So let me just grab this card here and show you. It goes on the page that you're at. You can close your book. No dog ears, nothing like that. Absolutely beautiful. And it's double sided and it's pretty on the inside. OK, we're going to decorate these up. So just bear with. So that is an eight by eight one. Give it a good old push down. So that is quite pretty, isn't it? Lovely. Let's do it again with our six by six and we'll just do it at the same speed. So we do it together. So there is our eight by eight one. You can see how big that one is there. So six by six this time. Which side shall we do? I don't, I like this side better, but I can't remember which way does what. So we'll go this way. 
Okay, so same, same again. So we'll take this one up to the point. Yes, we can. So this is a six by six one. And I think these would be lovely just inside a card and just said, hey, a cute bookmark for you. For anybody who particularly loves to read as well. I'll just give that a good burnish there. And then this corner here up to this point. Like so. You could make some cute vintage ones if you wanted to. And this one up to here. Burnish, burnish. A bit of origami. Love doing this as a kid, yeah. And I'm going to pull this down and then I'm just going to grab this one and bring it to this point here. And fold that down. And then this one we're going to tuck inside like we did our other one. So fold it over and Pinch it inside, push it in, it looks like that. And then this one, we're going to fold it over and pinch it inside. A little bit more tricky the smaller you go, I guess. Make sure you get that point right in in that corner. And there we have our second one. Let's have a look on this card. So if you have a book that you have in your bag, um, and it's quite thin and you don't want it to get dog-eared, you could create two of these um, to stop your book from getting dog-eared as well. So it's just a cute, cute paper craft idea. I absolutely love it. Tom's got one of these on his reading book at the moment. And he has Henrietta on his. That's his favourite, as you all know. Um, so there we go. So that is the 6 by 6 size. So you can see the scale. This is a 5 by 7 card. This is probably more appropriate. But if you are really going to town and want to create something really, really lovely for a gift, now, you could put this on the corner of a card as well. Just bear that in mind. It doesn't have to be a bookmark. It can be a decorated corner for a card as well. So let's get creative with this and um, decorate it. Now, you can see my two yellow post-it notes here, can't you? So I've got some news for you all. Let's just have a cup of coffee. Oh, that's a great idea. Leslie cuts off the corners of old envelopes. That's a great idea. Margaret's going to make a set of these for her favourite recipes. Great idea. And you know as well, when I was looking through all the different things that people had used them for, there was one lady that put it in a journal and she'd marked off a journal and she'd put some leaves on and held them together with some cute paper clips. So there are options for it, okay? Um, so let's get our heart die. So this is the heart that you've all got from your collection. We need to cut them up. Let's go. What are we going to do? I think I'm going to do the whole layer this time. Because it's our last one, I think it just deserves all layers. So we've used some of the interior nesting hearts, we've used the exterior, we've laid them up. So let me just clean my dies here because I'm a scruffy melt. One, two, and three. Let's just move this out of the way. Again, vellum hearts would look absolutely incredible on this. So I'll just go white for now. I might actually pop some colour on there. I'm going to cut each one three times because I'm doing two bookmarks. Now, look, this is what I'm thinking. The heart could sit over the corner of our lovely bookmark. And this one could be um, at the back of the page and the heart could sit at the front of the page. So it just gives it that little bit of added interest. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, th we'll do, we'll cut this twice. And let's see where it's going. I do have my washi tape characters as well, just to show you how creative you really can be, should you wish. But at the end of the day, it is just a bit of paper folding. I mean, it's not, not complicated, I guess. It's just finding different ways to utilise our stash, isn't it? And just, you know, we've paid for it. Let's get it used. Let's not just think about cards all the time. Let's try new things and experiment and as you saw from my last show i experimented with that bleaching technique and i just couldn't get it to work so sometimes you have to try these things to know if it does or if it doesn't work and i always say don't i the best cards sometimes come from 
you're just doing those, having those sporadic moments. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Who cares if it doesn't? Nothing lost, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Audrey says she loves the bookmark idea. Great kids, Valentine's rather than just a throwaway card. Absolutely. Halloween pockets over bags. You do Halloween if you sell Halloween. Christmas, you know. You know, I love, I love nice gifts and I don't, nobody doesn't do that. But sometimes to get a card that's got something extra inside, just something handmade, whether it be a little paper clip with a dangly charm on or a tag, you know, that's got a magnet on or something like that. I love those kind types of things. I really do. People gone that extra mile. That, so that's that one. That's that one. And then the last one is that one. So I'm just going to cut it one more time. Now you could change up the colour if you want to as well. Let's get some white card here. I'll just, I can't use that, it's got ink on it. Is this, can I use this? Maybe I get it on here. In fact, I've already got one of that one cut, so I don't need to cut that one again. So I've got two of them. Let's cut this one and this one. Julie says she's going to add them to a Christmas card. You know, that's a great idea. Don't put them inside the card. Put them on the card. Maybe put a little note inside saying, enjoy your bookmark, enjoy your reading, save a page. You know, those sorts of things. Yeah. Right, where's my plate? Here we go. Liked and shares. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Philippa's not crafting along today, but she's watching carefully. So let's build our wonderful hearts. Now they are all in white. Don't forget though, if you don't have coloured cardstock or any fancy patterned cardstock, you can colour these with a pen. Pen, pencil. What I am going to do is for my, ooh, for the little one, that's right, already coming to me now. I'm getting very excited. So let's build this one. I'm going to keep this little one very simple. Let's just move it out of the way for now. Oh, let's move it over here. So let's layer this one up first. So we have our back piece, then our next one. Glue. <laughs> like to shed. Jean, Jean Row, I got it. Don't you worry. I am the world's worst. You ask anybody about my text, you really do need an interpreter when I send a text because I'm just so busy. I'm like texting, typing on a call <laughs> all at the same time. Everyone's like, I think I understand that. Are you saying, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, don't get my design team or my friends on it because honestly, I think I'm. So I'm just unblocking my glue for the 20 millionth time this year. Right, let's get this one on. So I'll pop that there. And we'll get our detailed one. I have had so much fun with these hearts. It's crazy, isn't it? Because if somebody said to you, right, you get one craft product a month and you've got to use it for the month, you don't get anything new for a month. Um, you really, really would come up with some great ideas, wouldn't we? Sometimes I feel like all the new stuff, including myself, oops, Daisy, including myself, all the new stuff, we can get overwhelmed with it, can't we? You just end up in a pile. 
So sometimes it is really nice just to step back and have show focus on one item for a few days. Um, I could get every brand to do that. It'd be amazing if everybody, if everybody made you utilise your stuff for a solid month, giving you lots of inspiration on that one item. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? You'd really feel like you got value for money then, I feel like, because you're like, right, I've absolutely used it. Elaine says, Eleanor, I cut all the hearts out of scrap card and now have a box full. Good work. I love that idea. So with this one, I like the white. Too plain though, so what I'm going to look at that. Now you do have to bear in mind that you are going to get a bit of bulk in your car in your book. So um, just bear that in mind with whatever book you're putting on your book's not going to shut um, per, like shut shut if that makes sense. You are going to get a little bit of bulk. Just bear that in mind with whatever cardstock papers you're using. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring back some scrap and I'm going to take that last die with the big heart. Here we go. And I'm going to paper piece that heart back in. I just want the heart to go back in here just to give it a little bit of interest. Not too much because I'm keeping this one simple. Or should I do it in gold? No, I'll, I'll keep it simple. Just run this one through. Oops, it is. I just need the star. So, a couple of things then, whilst I'm just running this through. I saw a couple of comments yesterday about the QR code for your Cotton Pines first box. Tim's on with it, okay? It should be live. Um, so, Tim is working on that for you all. Just stand by. Just stand by. As soon as I know it's working properly, um, Tim will let me know and I'll let you know. So let's just paper piece this heart back in. Can't paper piece this star back in, not this heart. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the top of my bookmark and then I'm going to put it under something heavy to really break down those fibres in the paper so I do get a nice flat piece. Okay, so I think I'm going to go here. Don't ask me why I put glue under that bit there because that's just not needed. So just on the top bit, if you're having the overhang heart like me, I'm going to try and line the point of my half up with the point of my bookmark here. So, great question. Is there, Jane Bolton, question, question, is there any chance you could put pictures of the DTs makes next to the items on the website just to give a bit of inspiration? Jane, if you go to the Facebook page, Eureka fan page, there is an album. Karen creates an album for every single release. Because we can't put all of the makes on our website, it would overwhelm our website, the different sizes. Um, sometimes we have 100 samples, and I know we could just put a few on, but because we release so much. So what Karen does very kindly is she categorizes it all in albums. So if you have something in mind, go to um, the Facebook page. Across the top, it's got like friends, invite, um, photos, schedule. If you scroll across, there's one that says albums. Click albums and there's just hundreds and hundreds of albums. Click in the album that you're interested in and all of the design team makes are in there. Every design team member loads their makes into each um, category. So it's there for you all. Let Facebook deal with the, the tons of photos. <laughs> Great question, though. So for any of you that do want inspiration on any of our launches, I think we've been doing it now for about the last two years, at least the last two years. Go to the albums pet tab in Eureka fan page. I hope that helps. Great question, by the way. Right, so there we have, look. One cute bookmark. Now you could put a name on it. You could put a character on it. I'm going to put a character on the next one. So let's push this to one side. In fact, I need to really put it under something heavy and it'll flatten it down. So I'm just going to get my mat, my die cut plates. 
and push it over to one side and we'll just give it a nice flatten down like it's bringing our eight by eight one now this is a corker but like the lady said earlier it could be the corner of a gift bag it could be the corner of a card it could be for valentine's it could be so many different things so let's decorate this one so let's bring in our hearts again let's stack these ones up so we have this one then this one now you could swap out the white for sparkles, whatever you want. You could heat emboss. We've done a little bit of heat embossing techniques, haven't we? We've done a few different things. Sarah's cotton pines arrived this morning, going to hide it in a craft room till after create together. Well done, sweetheart. If I told you the team were on with packing box number two, you'd all be like, oh my goodness me. You're not getting it though, not till the first week of next month, but the team are packing them as we speak trying to get ahead I'll just pop that under there and then we have our detail part now if you did get our washi I'm going to use my washi on this one this is a great way to get them used up I know a lot of you have pre-cut the washies and the um, designs in your tubs I've run a, three, a few through because I was low on Henrietta because every time I make some, a project for school, Henrietta has to be on it. Um, crazy. All Tom's school friends get Henrietta every year. <laughs> just a different formation. <laughs> I'll just pop that on there like so. So I think we'll leave the heart on this one because I'm going to bring in a character. So... I'm stepping away from the heart. I've used the heart as an example. But if you do have the cute characters from the washi tape and dyes, now look at this one. So I have ascending smiles. I have a vase of flowers. So I don't have to decorate the whole um, heart here. So let's have a look. So we have a, a vase of flowers. We have Henrietta off to the side. So, you know, dig out the rest of your stash. Sending smiles over the heart. Look at this. This is quite cute, isn't it? Um, then we have your banners as well, hip hip hooray, this is pink as well, this would work, you know, dig out your stash, whether it be mine or somebody else's, we're not really precious, that looks good, good off the side, it looks like it's actually coming round that heart, doesn't it, how cool is that, now the, the hard thing is the decision making, so let's have a look what we're going to do, so first of all, let's bring in our bookmark, I think we'll go, as, we'll go higher on this one, and then let's have a look where we're going, so, We've got Henrietta to the side. We have sending smiles. Or we could just do a nice bunch of flowers next to the star. Or hip hip hooray. Hmm. Decisions. I think I like. No. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh -huh. You're all at home like, Tony, no, that's not how it should be. <laughs> I would turn the heart so it's straight when the bookmark is on the page. Oh, smart pants. Let's have a look at that one then. Good idea. There be. I'm doing it, Debbie. I'm doing it. Oh, so you mean this way? Debbie, you mean this way, don't you? I think you mean this way. That's a great shout. I'm going to do it. Did you see how it took a while for a penny to drop there? Tim was like looking at me as if to say, turn it. He's going like this. Wow. <laughs> great idea, by the way. Well, let's just pop this up here. Now, this is going to dictate the size now. The banner is nice. I know. So I'm just going to pop um, acrylic block on that just while it grabs. Ignore it on the card because obviously it doesn't coordinate. I'm just holding it there for, to help me out a bit. Hey, it's tough at the top. I think I need another Kit Kat get me going again. Kit Kat. <laughs> I'll just give that a second to grab. I'll have a slurp. I've got two gifts here. These are going straight to Tom, by the way. I know they're pink, but he's, he, lo he does love pink. He's like me. He loves pink. His gum shield for rugby is actually pink. He's like, I was like, 
Oh, are you sure you want pink? He's like, well, nobody else has got pink. I'm like, okay, you do you have a pink one. So there we go. I think that's stuck. So let's have a look now. So it's got going to dictate. Oh, look at him. We're going for it. I love it. Oh. Don't know what happened to me there. Tell me to shut up. <laughs> so let's pop him. I just do him so he's poking off that star. Just pop that block on there. The possibilities now that I've done this one with the cute hippo are endless. So you've got your cotton pines, boxes, you've got stags, cabins for your winter corners. Um, we did winter story with the snowy scene uh, with the trees. There's loose trees in there. You could cut some trees and put them over the corner. Honestly, endless. Question, question, Tony. Neil wants to know if you like chunky Kit Kats. He does. I don't. I don't get the same feeling as I do with a fourth. It's got to be a four finger, though. <laughs> two just don't cut it. If, I, if it's a two, I have to have three. So there I have six. But four's just enough. It has to be a four one. And I think it goes back to um, when you were a kid and your nana used to have them on top shelf in the fridge. You're like, can I have a Kit Kat? <laughs> Yeah, it's got to be, I think they're too, um, too big. I do like a double decker as well, though. In fact, I love sweet things. <laughs> oh, I do have a sweet tooth. There's not very often I don't have a pudding or a yogurt to seal the deal after I've had a meal. I'm not bothered about alcohol. I'm not bothered about anything. Uh, but it's like, do I get a biscuit? Is it something just to finish? <laughs> right, get back to craft. Come on. There we go, look. I have two. Let's have a look what that one looks like. The star still looks nice on an angle, hey? So, but if you were to do it like page-wise, you could do it like that, look. So it would look like that. So you have options, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Oh, I flew through that, actually. So it's okay, though, because I've got a few things to tell you about. I've got some winners to announce, and I also have something else to tell you about. So do you like them? Will you give it a go? Give it a go today if you get a chance. Get some paper on your lap while you're on doing your homework or whatever you're doing. Fold, fold a ton of them and then decorate them later. I actually have some vellum hearts as well. Look at them. Ooh. Anyway, stop touching. So there we go. I hope you like that. Have a sweet tooth too, Charlotte Palmer. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? I tell you what, though. Everybody says, oh, how do you stay so thin? I must do 10,000 steps a day, up and down, up and down, because our studio is at one end of the store, front of house is at the other, my office is down by the other, studio three is in the middle. Do you know where you fast forward CCTV and all you see is somebody doing this all day? At me. Busy bee. So let's pop these on the back. I don't, let's pop them on the back. Can't really. Let's um, hang them off cards. Will they go on? Oh, they're all top folding cards. Let's pop that on there, look. Look at that. You might not see because I've put a ton of cards up today. But um, you get the idea. And there is our lovely other one. He is so cute. Come on. You could sell these. Pack of 10 bookmarks. A couple of pounds. Just to use your stash. You know? And those stencils are really generically good as well because you can use them with all of your other craft stash. And um, they'll build into lots of other people's stamps and products too. So there we go. Oof, now I can have a lie down. Oh, Elaine, that's so cool. We're going to make them to give away with each book sold in the charity shop. That is so cool. That is so kind also. Good idea for kids too. Yeah, you could put some bunny ears on. Put some googly eyes on them. Make some, cut some like um, pointy teeth and put some teeth under here like that. Googly eye, two ears, simple. So there we go. So what have I got to tell you about? So the next Create Together Club envelope number two, make a note, is Monday the 23rd. 
So I have a pick of the week on the 16th, and we'll talk about that later in the weeks. Um, but on the Monday, we have envelope number two, Monday the 23rd, make a note, okay? Tomorrow, I have a sale show live in here at one o'clock. Everything is £25 and under. And I'm going to do that counter and this counter. There won't be any demonstrations, but there will be a ton of reduced items that fit both counters. Uh, maybe you need to top up on some items, maybe you need some watercolour card. Bits and pieces, I'm doing a sales show tomorrow at one o'clock. So I will pop a banner out on social media. So if you could share that, that would be wonderful. And then I have all of the winners. But before I announce the winners, I'm going to show you what's in envelope number two. Cha, cha, cha. So let's have a look. Let's open it together. Well, you can go and get yours, but I'm going to show you envelope number two. I'm told it's this one. I couldn't remember for toffee. So in envelope number two, let's have a look. The suspense is killing you. What are we working with next time on the 23rd? Are you all ready? Drum roll, please. No drum roll then, Tim. No, not today. So this is from envelope number two. Any guesses? Yeah, I know some of you have cheated, so let's just show you. Oh! So we have a super large five by seven embossing folder. Now, I'm thinking, right, okay. Interesting. Actually, this is a HD 3D embossing folder. Ooh, look at you lot. So this is the next item. You can have a look at your envelope. You can play with it if you want to, but the inspirational content with item number two starts on Monday, the 23rd. Stand by your beds, get ready, because we're going to have a week's worth of fun using the hearts, possibly all this on its own, and we're going to build them together. And then in a few weeks after that, we'll open envelope number three. How does that sound? I hope you like it. It's a good one. I have run it through. It's good. It's dimensional. You're going to love this one. This is going to be like one of our core embossing folders. So that's that one. Super exciting. Number two. And then let's talk about our lovely winners. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven winners that I've chosen from anybody that commented underneath the videos. Give me the thumbs up and share if possible, but they're not all people that share because I appreciate not everybody can share. But I have seven winners so make a note and i'm going to send you all something lovely through the post so we have i should have uh, written this a little bit slower kristen v 6120 6102 my apologies paula goodwin 2790 marilyn benson i'm not sure about the numbers on the end whether you've created those or youtube have created those but you're getting the numbers as well marilyn benson 8642 sally mcleod 2507 Anne Rolton, 413, Cheryl Toot, and Marilyn Squire, 8061. So I'll just give a quick rundown again. All you need to do is um, message info at Stamps by Me or find me on Facebook, Tony Derrick, and send me your address, okay? So Kristen V, Paula Goodwin, Marilyn Benson, Sally McLeod, Anne Rolton, Cheryl Toot, Marilyn Squire. Well done, girls. All very, very deserved. And thank you so much. It's been a great week of content. I can't wait for number two. Do you know what? It'll come around as quick as it started, honestly. I'll have a look at what we could potentially do for our Create Together 4, maybe. I'll keep you all posted on that one. So, uh, yeah, seven winners. Well done, everyone. So I'm having the afternoon off. Well, I'm going to go get my son. And then I'm going to cook some nice tea. I don't know what yet. Um, we'll see what happens. But don't forget, I'm back with you tomorrow, 25 pounds and under, 1 p.m., Share it if you can, because there's going to be some really incredible deals. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye.